Na mesma leve, na 2 kg particle moves along an x-axis being propelled by a variable force directed along that axis. Its position is given by x equals to 3 plus 4t plus ct squared minus 2t to the third, with x in meters and t in seconds. The factor c is a constant. At t equals to 3 seconds, the force of the force on the particle has a magnitude of 36 newtons and is in the negative direction of the axis. What is C? So let's remember that from the from Newton's second law that the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration in vector notation. However, in this exercise we are working only in one direction, only in the, the x-axis, so we can forget the vector for a moment, but only in this case. If we were if we are working in two dimensions, then you have to include the vector, but we are working only in one dimension. Anyway, so this is the net force that the particle is feeling. So if we want to calculate the force, we need the, the mass, which we already have, which is two kilograms, and we need the acceleration over here. And we don't have the acceleration. However, we have the, the function of the position in respect to time. And we know that the acceleration is the second derivative of the position in respect of time. So if we derive this function over here two times, we find the acceleration and then we can find the, the net force acting on the particle. So let's derive it one time. And, and when you derive the position one time, we get its velocity. So this is dx over dt and gives us... 4 plus 2ct minus 6t squared. So this is the velocity. The acceleration, we have to derive x two times, so just derive the velocity that we just found. And this gives us 2c minus 12t. So this is the acceleration over here. And we know that the force when t is equal to 3 seconds so we have that the force would be minus 36 newtons we know that so what we are going to do we're going to write this equation over here and replace t by 3 seconds so f is equal to mass times acceleration so f but this is only when t equals to 3 seconds right this is valid what i'm going to do is valid only when t is equal to 3 seconds. So minus 36 is equal to the mass, which is 2, times the acceleration when t is equal to 3 seconds, which is 2c minus 12 times 3. And we have that minus 36 is equal to 4c minus this is 36, 72. So, sending 42 to the other side, we have 36 is equal to 4c. That means that c is equal to 9. Uh, and this is the absolute value. We have to find its unity. So, let's see. We have this term over here, which is c t squared. And this should give us position. So this should give us meters. And this is seconds, right? So seconds squared. So C, the unit of C should be meters per second square. So this term over here gives us meters. So C is equal to 9 meters per second square. And that's the answer of the exercise.